This is climate change video collection. Video 2. Anthropogenic climate change. According to available data, global temperature is on the rise. In the last four years, from 2014 to 2017, were the warmest ever recorded. Here are the most important greenhouse gases, making the Earth warm enough to support life as we know it. Let's concentrate on carbon dioxide and explore further data about this gas. Carbon dioxide has been measured continually since 1958 in the Mauna Loa lab, Hawaii. What you can see here is that uh, the concentration of the gas, though very small, is steadily rising. It was 320 parts per million at the beginning of measurements, and it is now, in 2018, well beyond 400 ppm. This means a 30% rise in 60 years. It is interesting and uh, somehow alarming to compare current values of CO2 with data from the past, taken from small bubbles of air, well preserved in the Antarctic ice sheet, and going back 800,000 years from the present. This remarkable scientific graph shows that CO2 values in this long geological record never went as high as now. And it helps also to realize that current values were reached very fast in a couple of centuries since the onset of the Industrial Revolution. CO2 concentration is actually rising so fast that it could easily reach values of 6 to 800 ppm, like in the Jurassic era, when the world was completely different from now, much warmer, no ice, higher sea levels, and dominated by big dinosaurs. So you could start to ask yourself, where is all this new CO2 coming from. Here on Earth, we burn every day lots of fossil fuels like coal, oil and methane. Oil burning, for example, is in the order of 100 million barrels per day. A lot of energy is produced from fossil fuels with huge emissions of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So, the natural greenhouse effect is enhanced and more heat is trapped. To all this, we have to add the burning of large amounts of tropical forests. And the final result is rising temperatures all over the planet. Here are some data taken from the latest United Nations report on climate change, on man-made or anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions, to which we must add man-made methane and nitrous oxide, which are in turn powerful anthropogenic greenhouse gases. Put all together, these emissions are in the order of 50 gigatons per year. A number that, divided by the population of the planet, gives something like 7 tons of CO2 equivalent per person per year. It's huge! But I have to warn you that responsibilities on this situation are widely different. Take Africa. The continent is in general so poor and underdeveloped that emissions per African person are in the order of only one ton per year. While if you move to China or Europe, things change a lot, with emissions jumping to seven or 
eight tons per person. But the United States and also Canada and Australia have an even higher load because their emissions amount to 20 tons per person average. So let's come to the future. What are climate scientists telling us? Climate models are very complex, but the outcome is clear enough. The more CO2 we pump in the air, the more heat we get. The so-called business as usual scenario, where everything goes on like now, is putting us on a road of very high rise in temperature, up to plus 5 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. Nobody has a clear idea of how to manage such a warm planet, except perhaps dinosaurs. A more favorable scenario is the one depicted in blue, where temperatures rise no more than 1.5 or 2 degrees. But this implies cutting drastically emissions of man-made greenhouse gases and to stop completely emissions by year 2050. Actually, this is exactly what is foreseen in the Paris Accord on Climate, signed by all nations of Earth in 2015 and due to come into force in year 2020. In the next video of this series, we will see how to avoid runaway global warming, examining in some detail what is called mitigation of climate change. See you soon!